This is KCCK's Culture Crawl. I'm Dennis Green, and my guests today are from Giving Tree Theater in Marion, Holly Trenary and Heather Akers. Hello. Ladies, thanks for being here today. Holly is the director of the current production at Giving Tree, Little Women, and Heather is one of the principals uh, and uh, creators and directors and managers and box office and concessions and... Bathroom cleaner. Bathroom cleaner. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I had to draw the line somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so before we talk about uh, Little Women and also upcoming productions, Heather, for those who aren't familiar with Giving Tree Theater, talk to me just a little bit about how it came together, why you and Richie decided the region needed another theater. and Yeah, one of, the, one of the things that we thought was missing was an opportunity to do some classic shows that folks know and honestly opportunities for um, straight actors to do more um, straight shows so shows without music right. um, and we we had a dream rich has had this dream for for quite a while and it seemed like an opportune time to leap we had been out to new york a handful of times and had started thinking what if we did things a little differently and um, the seating is different, so we're using couches and armchairs and upright seats. Um, it's very small. It's a really intimate setting, which I think, you know, we seat about 105, which allows for, um, I think, patrons to get a little more emotionally connected to the material. Um, and I think it's a really unique place to act in that um, you really feel the energy from the audience because they're right there, um, sometimes cuddled in on a couch drinking a beer. So we're, we just wanted to do things a little bit differently. The other piece that we thought um, might work is if we could do good theater and give back to the community at the same time, so provide resources. And um, we're able to do that. So with each show, our cast votes on a local human services nonprofit, and we make a donation in their name at the end of the run of the show. And we've um, we've been able to give a, a, a nice amount of money that Richie and I wouldn't have been able to do on our own. So it's it's kind of been a labor of love. And for a repertoire, you have, as you said, you you picked not exclusively, but mainly shows that people know. They tend to be you know smaller, you said straight shows, not musicals. But uh, I think you're audiences have been great and I know from uh, talking to actors in the community that people are excited to be able to come in and do shows that uh, maybe they grew up with or they did maybe even in high school and now get to come back and do them you know in an age appropriate yeah, yeah. And, and that's really a fun thing because a lot of the time that's when these titles get done are, are in high schools and to be able to put um, a really robust set of um, talented mature actors into these roles and do the same material I think helps us all kind of um, I don't know revisit those titles in a brand new way we're having a lot of fun with that and we have started to sprinkle some new stuff in so you know we sprinkle in a musical here and there um, I've found we found usually about once a year we do a more contemporary piece that speaks to us um, and so I think it's important to do a little bit of that too and to you know to teach our audience to trust us. You know, if you like the classics we're doing, we're not going to do something crazy and contemporary that maybe you're not ready for, but also maybe something that'll just just push the envelope just a little bit. Holly, you're directing the current show at Giving Tree, Little Women. Um, a lot of us read the book Little Women, of mm -hmm. course, when we were in school and prob probably never revisited it again. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, talk to me just a little bit about the, uh, how, the, how the play differs from the movie. Or, sorry, from the book, sorry. Oh, actually, now, although there have been movies, too. There have been movies. Um, actually, it's pretty close. Um, it's an adaptation of the book, um, so it goes a little faster, maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's condensed a little bit into um, a two hours. The show runs just under two hours um, pretty consistently. Um, and so it's very close. So uh, all of the things that we loved about the book, the themes, the way we connect to the characters, um, it's all there. Um, set a period piece set in the, the Civil War with this sweet family and what they go through um, in this adaptation over about a year's time span. So you'll see a year in the life of the Little Women, but all of the things um, that we loved about the book and the movie. Had you, had you directed this before or been in it before? No. Oh, okay. No. So nope. fresh eyes. Holly had fresh never eyes. directed. This is before. my very first. This is my directorial debut. So, so how did that? How did that work? It was wonderful. Super, super fun. Um, I, I I love the process from start to finish. Um, uh, picking this wonderful cast and watching them grow and the characters come to life through them um, has been 
just a wonderful experience. Was there anything about the process, especially as a first-time director, that surprised you or was different? You know, going in, you thought, oh, it's totally going to be like this, and then you hit the reality was just 90 degrees away oh, from what you thought? I, I wouldn't say 90 degrees. I think what's been interesting about this show is the age range of our cast. Um, so we go from age 12 to 20 in this cast, and it's been interesting doing a period piece with our modern teenagers. Um, oh. And and really the themes, the themes uh, resonate across the years for sure, but the language and um, under trying to get 14 year olds to understand um, marriage and that people were getting married at age 14 and 15 in 1864 and really just connecting to that um, that time period has been interesting. Not to mention coaching them on what to do with their hands since they can't <laughs> yes. hold a phone. Yeah, yeah. And, and connecting with each eye, other. Eye contact. Uh, visually. Physical touch. Physical touch. Like um, Heather and I actually had a conversation about this. Um, just really in this show, it's very emotional. There's a lot of emotion, a lot of relationships, individual or couple relationships, and trying to get them to show, show that through their face and their facial expressions to each other. Um, has really opened our eyes a little bit to what technology may be doing to our kids these days. <laughs> but they've done a, a fabulous job. Now, this is the final weekend for Little Women, and it is practically a sellout. Yes, I just learned. Heather just told me there's seven tickets left for the show Saturday night. So we'll give you the ticket information here in just a minute, but get on that right away because there are just a few tickets. But I've been in the space. Every seat's a good seat. Every seat's a good seat. And Absolutely. every seat's a comfy seat. Right. Mm -hmm. That was that was one of our, one of our standards was we had to sit in it before we bought it and we had to be comfortable in that chair for two hours. <laughs> and this as a youthful cast and you've also I know do some uh, summer education and summer productions with kids too, correct? We do. Um, that's something that Richie's really passionate about. He's found this niche with middle school kiddos. Um, whereas I think that perhaps I would be personally challenged working with those kiddos all the time. He finds them um, just refreshing and exciting. So he does a lot of work with with and really wants to challenge those folks to do challenging material. So stuff that maybe doesn't talk down to them and, and pushes them. And we've had a lot of luck um, and fun with that demographic. Talking with uh, Holly and Heather from Giving Tree Theater about the theater in general and also the current production. Now, of course, if, you, if you're not fast enough to get tickets to this weekend's mm -hmm. show, I know that you've just cast the next one. We Heather. did. So Father of the Bride will open right after the first of the year. We have a very nice, large cast of folks, both new new faces to the stage and um, some folks that people are probably used to seeing. So we're excited about that. And then even more exciting, maybe just a little train, a little um, departure from what we usually do. Um, next weekend, we're doing a holiday-ish cabaret with uh, Alex Schulte and Alicia Strong. They put together their own set list, and um, this is their first produced show independently. Um, so that will run next Saturday night, and then th they're doing a Sunday matinee at 2 and a Sunday night show. And I got to see their set list last night, and <laughs> it's everything from Michael Jackson to Adele to Train to <laughs> traditional Christmas songs. So it's a little bit of everything. Um, oh certainly will be done with a whole lot of energy, so I'm super excited about that. I think I, I told an audience the other night that that was my Christmas gift to myself. <laughs> So if people are interested in those last seven tickets yes. for uh, Little Women or the Cabaret or getting advance tickets for Father of the Bride after the first of the year, your website is? www.givingtreetheater.com. And if, is there a, can people reserve by phone? They sure can. They can call and talk to Richie anytime they like. <laughs> he's, because he's, everybody else is here. That's right. <laughs> he's probably just waiting to take their call right now. And now, look, I have to look on my phone for that number because I have a hotline for him. It is 213. Three seven nine five six, and uh, Richie's man in the phones this week, and then our wonderful employee Hannah will be back on the phones next week. All right, Heather and Holly. It, well, good luck with the rest of the run for so Little much. Women. Although you know it's it's out of your hands now. You've yes. done your work. <laughs> I've done my work. Yeah. And uh, good luck with the holiday cabaret. Yeah. That sounds like a blast. Yeah, and really uh, looking forward to next year. Yeah. Merry Christmas.